I want to begin, though, with a Conservative radio host who calls the Zimmerman trial a sideshow. Larry Elder is the host of The Larry Elder Show on KABC and also the author of Dear Father, Dear Son, and he joins me now. Larry Elder, welcome to you. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. You've been pretty scathing about my interview with Rachel <laughs> Gentel. Why? I was, because you weren't doing her any favors by condescendingly trying to convince her that she's a victim. This is a young lady uh, who didn't apply herself, a 19-year-old who's still in high school. Instead of saying, young lady, take this as an opportunity to take stock of your life, you treated her like she was a victim. And that's how you're doing this whole thing about race and racism. 7,000 murders last year, Pierce, of black people. Almost all of those were committed by black people. Since Trayvon Martin has his unfortunate death, there have been 480 blacks killed in Chicago alone. Seven 75% of those crimes have been unsolved. Where are the cameras? Where are the shows? It's outrageous to act well, as if black America, okay, black America should fear some non-black guy stalking some black kid uh, uh, at night. The likelihood of a black person being killed uh, by, mm -hmm. a, by a non-black person uh, is extremely remote, which is why this became a big national issue in the first place, Pierce. Right. It's perfectly possible, as we have shown on this show many times, to be just as exercised by what is happening in Chicago, which is an absolute national disgrace to America, frankly, in terms of the out, outlandish... But you're, gun... but, you're, but you're not, but you're not, Pierce. No, but I am, There's actually. 7,000 murders last year. I don't think you watched year. my show, half... Larry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Half of the, half I don't of the think you watched my show. Half of the murders in this country are committed by black people, even though black people are 12 percent of the population, which means 6 percent of the population is committing almost half the murders. And you throw out the old people and the young people, Pierce, you're talking about 3 percent of the population committing almost 50 percent of the murders. Fine. This is the why commonsensical people Larry, profile. if you just calm this down for a moment, Larry, here's the point I was going to make. I'm, I'm quite I am, calm. I am I'm just bothered by how you're handling all Larry, of this, making black people. let me speak, Larry. Siege. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Larry, you're a liberal I can guy. just bleeding heart liberal person you think you're doing something for black people you're not you're making black people feel as if they're under siege and it's not true it's an outrage thank you larry if i could just get a word in that would be great sure. uh, here's my point i completely agree with everything you're saying about chicago all right let's just get that on the table i've been saying this repeatedly on this show it's a disgrace what's happening in chicago particularly with all these young black teenagers killing other young black teenagers and the president okay, and fine. people let's, down have to deal with it but let's get back to the Zimmerman trial. Let's get back Let's to my interview that. with Rachel Gentel because you tweeted some ridiculous things. You tweeted at one stage, would I like Rachel Gentel to fly my plane? Why would you I'll say that? I'll tell you why that? I said that, Pierce. I'll tell you why I said that, because after you interviewed her, you condescendingly went on television the next morning and called her one smart cookie. Mm. Bull. Why don't you hire her as a nanny? Let's see how smart she is. It's a condescending kind of thing. You think that she's a lot stupid, of Larry? Say to, to black people. I think you're stupid for saying that kind of thing to try to get black that people. That wasn't my question. That race and racism. Do you think Rachel Gentile is... When it doesn't. Do you racism think she's stupid, Larry? Racism is not a major problem in America anymore, Pierce. Racism is not a major problem in America anymore. The number one problem facing black people are the large large number of black people born outside of wedlock, 75%. In 1960, 5% of all people in this country were born outside of wedlock. Fast forward, Pierce, the number now is 43%. You look at that for crime, dropouts, all that kind of stuff is connected. The other big problem facing black America, Pierce, is the economy. One in two black men does not have a job. And uh, one of the heads of uh, the Congressional Black Caucus once said, if uh, a, a white person were in the White House, we'd be marching on the place because of the high unemployment. But we're talking about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman, as if it's the number one problem facing black America, it isn't even remotely on the top ten list. Okay, Larry, Larry, this isn't a, a sort of competition to see who can be the greatest filibuster in my show's history. I'm not so trying to filibuster. I'm just if you could to just get make back, some common sense let me just I'm not get hearing on your show. Let me just get back to the question I asked you and see if you can actually answer sure. the question. Do you think that Rachel Gentel is stupid? I think that I would rather have a George Zimmerman living in my neighborhood, and maybe if a George Zimmerman were living in my neighborhood, we'd have a few fewer Ario Castros. I thought we wanted people to be proactive. I that thought wasn't we wanted the question, to Larry. Something, say something. I know, I'm answering something different that ought to Could be answered. Could you just answer my question? The reason I wanted to show that clip is to show that we have black people in the media, within our community, or within the world in, in general, that go against justice for our people. Now, I never liked Larry Elder, you know, I mean, <laughs> that guy is what you, he's a, a pure example of a sample. And, you know, my grandmother warned me about him way back in the 90s, you know, God rest her soul. And she was right about this character because he's cool since his very start on TV. Now, if you listen to the interview, 
You heard uh, Paris Morgan ask him, do you think um, Rachel Gentile is stupid? And that's basically what he was saying in the interview. He was saying, uh, he made a gesture saying, um, uh, uh, would you let her drive you in a plane or something, something to that, that fact. And basically what he was saying is, he was saying, you know, Rachel Gentile is ignorant, stupid. Uh, he made a, um, a comment about her being 19 and still in high school. And also, I made a video saying that I thought she could have handled herself better in court. I'm not going to go in and say that that sister is stupid and ignorant. Because, for one, you have a guy like Larry Elder who is completely detached from black the black community. And is basically a dancing puppet for the white man. And, second... I understand the type of environment Rachel Gentile comes from, and I understand how tough and how much you have to work three times as hard to get yourself out of those type of situations. I know the ins and outs and outs and ins from the type of community that she comes from. And I'm not saying you can't get educated or you can't be successful in life or, or, or you know, um, exceed all your goals in life, but at the same time, you have to understand all the different things that, that come at you and all the different elements you have to get over. But, you know, we have to be aware of people like Larry Elder because this guy here is what you would call a complete coon. And he does nothing but downgrade the black community. He has no type of sympathy for the black community. And we really have to take down people like this because this guy is very detrimental to us in general. Then I heard this Sambo bring up Chicago. You know, everybody's talking about Chicago and what's going on over there. And like I said in the previous video, I have a relative that stays in Chicago. And they told me as well as people in, in that in certain communities, what we would call the south side of Chicago, the west side, or any other type of area which we would consider to be violent that's, that's in Chicago. A lot of these things are not, these murders are not done just by black people or just teens killing teens or black folks killing black folks. It's corruption within Chicago. And anybody who follows politics know that Chicago has a lot of strange and, and, and corruption when it comes to politics. As well as um, L.A., Philadelphia, which is another place that has a high crime rate, rate which nobody's talking about right now. But Philly is crazy. As well as L.A. And, and several other places all across America. But the reason they focus on Chicago is because of Barack Obama. And they want they want to focus everything on oh, Chicago, Chicago. Let's put all the energy over there. And just like I've said before, all these murders are not done just by just being black on black crime. I told you guys a story about back in the 90s when... Uh, the L.A. gangs had the peace treaty and you had cops that were going around in known gang members' cars doing drive-bys to keep that animosity and keep that violence up and to keep black folks killing each other. See, nobody wants to talk about that. Because when you start talking about that, that gets people thinking. That gets people thinking about what's going on behind the scenes. What What's going on that's not being shown on the media or to these uh, sambos that are out here talking down towards the black community. That gets people investigating. So that's why nobody wants to talk about that. But, you know, this this guy here, man, Larry Elder, he better hope he don't ever have to come back to the black community. Because, you know, somebody's going to nail his ass to the cross. But that's all I wanted to say. You know, I, I just wanted to point out a sambo that we have out here because this is Larry Elder guy, as well as many others that I can put on blast. We gotta watch out for these people because these people are becoming the voice of the black community. But they don't want a cat like you know me or or, or, some, or another brother out here with comments or several other YouTubers that speak the truth out here. They don't want us to speak. That's why we got all these trolls and YouTube coming at us and flagging our channels because we speak the truth. We're speaking the stuff that's not spoken in, in, in the uh, world media or, or, or these, these public figureheads that have the opportunity to voice their opinions and speak what they think is true or sambo for these white people out here. But that's all I had to say. I'm out. Peace.